today I want to show you how Ford uses regenerative braking for their F-150 Lightnings to increase the efficiency of their electric vehicles. First of all, I wanted to answer the question, what is regenerative braking? Well, regenerative braking is as the tires are going around and around and around and around and around, and around kind of like a windmill, it actually takes that kinetic energy and converts that into power that can be used for the vehicle. So Ford does this through an electrical traction motor inside that actually uses that energy as it's spinning around to convert it into power, as I was just saying. What's happening, though, when it does that is it slows the car down because it's a generator in there generating that energy as it's spinning. So therefore, it actually slows it down. So regenerative braking is basically braking as a result of that energy being converted from kinetic to power that can be used. That energy is then sent to the batteries. Now, you may say, well, what does that have to do with anything that's all electric vehicles? Well, yes, but I'm going to show you today how the Ford Lightning uses a variety of percentage of that energy and how you can get the most out of that regenerative energy as you drive. So well, I'm going to get in the truck and we're going to take a drive and it is going to be awesome. I'm going to show you the different levels of regenerative braking that the Ford Lightning has. So stay tuned. Ford has about three different stages of regenerative braking. And I'm gonna explain to you why one of them, which is sport mode, is actually the best. So we're gonna switch to normal now. That's what most people do it's kind of a nice little blue if you look over here at the dash if you can see my finger it has a little zero percent there and if you actually go up here if I go faster it shows you how much power is being used and if I let off the accelerator it shows you how much regenerative braking is being used so if you notice with uh, normal mode if you if you let off it uses a little bit of regenerative braking. It does. I'm on the highway. I'm going about 60 miles an hour. Uh, just to show the illustration here. Don't worry. I'm in the right lane. So I'm not going to freak too many people out here. Anyways, so normal mode is the low level of regenerative braking. Again, it only does a little bit there. And it shows you how much that is. When you switch it to one pedal drive... So one pedal drive essentially makes it where you just use one pedal. <laughs> it's pretty much what it says that it is. But you have to get really good at how much you apply the pedal, how much you let off the pedal, and it requires a little bit of a thought process. But if you let all the way off the pedal, like I'll show you right here, if you wanna bring this over here, and I'll show you what the regenerative braking does whenever I let all, all the way off the pedal. Are you ready? There we go. Look at how much regenerative braking that was. That was crazy. So I'll, I'll show you again. So basically it goes all the way down there. So it's essentially totally opposite of, nor of just normal without the one pedal. But here's the reason why I believe sport mode actually gets you the best and even better than one pedal drive. And that's because it has an average amount of regenerative braking. So I'm going to switch it over to sport mode. There we go. And just so you're aware, if you're, if you're looking here, you can do one pedal drive and sport mode together. I don't really recommend it because it kind of defeats the purpose of sport mode, really. Uh, but some people like to do one pedal drive. That's up to you. So I'm going to turn one pedal drive off. I'm going to show you the difference 
on the regenerator braking here. So I let off the accelerator right now and it does about half as much as the one pedal drive. It's pretty much allows you to coast. So whenever you're going downhill, you can let off the accelerator and not worry that it's gonna jerk you. <laughs> one pedal drive, I also call uh, whiplash mode because it's like, mm. and so people are really apprehensive about letting go of that pedal. But whenever you're in sport mode, you, you don't worry. You just like, oh, okay, I'm coasting. And it allows you to do that regenerative braking. So that is my opinion as to why sport mode does better than one pedal drive. But you may say, well, that's not true because the math would show you if you did one pedal drive, it does regenerative braking. I will actually agree with you. If you are a scientist, if you are a good mathematician or something, and you just wanna analyze everything when you drive and make sure that you let off that pedal just right all the time, there is a good possibility that you could get one pedal drive to get you more miles per kilowatt, but I don't like to think that much when I drive. I don't like to think that much on when I'm driving on the road at all. The point is to let the vehicle be the tool that works for you. Another thing I wanted to show you about sport mode and the reason why it's better than one pedal drive is you can make it do the same thing that one pedal drive does. And what one pedal drive does, obviously, is make it use all the regenerative braking that it possibly can. So when you're ready to slow down, what you'll do is you'll let off the accelerator, it gets about halfway there, and then, and then if you need to, and then you need to actually slow down more, you apply, apply the brakes more, it actually uses the rest of that regenerative braking depending on how much you apply the brake. So what most people don't realize is that with the electric vehicles like this, when you apply the brake, it is not the brake pads automatically that grab. It is automatically starting the regenerative braking and the level of regenerative braking is based on how hard you're pushing down on the pedal, how fast you're going. So you can get it almost to the same thing as the one pedal drive. And you do that whenever you're slowing down to go up to a stoplight. Also, as you're slowing down at a stoplight, you can see here that it shows you right there. So 100%, that's how much energy was returned from the braking. That means 0% of the brake pads were used. So summing it up, there's three different modes that use different varieties of regenerative braking. Again, you have normal mode, and if you bring it over here, I'll just go through them again really quick. Normal mode, it does do regenerative braking, but it's a very little bit. When you're in sport mode, so it changes the little truck there and changes everything to white, but when you're in sport mode, it does a lot more or a little bit more. And then the other option, I'm gonna go back to normal and switch it into one pedal drive. And then if you look right over here, it's like, mm, okay, so there you go. It's a lot for the one pedal drive. It's a little bit with just normal and it's kind of in the middle for sport. So one more thing I wanted to mention to you about one pedal drive. One pedal drive, as soon as you let off the accelerator fully, the brake lights will go on as if you're braking because it does, uh, it's really similar to braking for you. Um, and then every single mode, you can also use your normal brakes that 
we'll apply the brake pads to finish things off. So, well, that's about it for today. So again, sport mode, on, take off one pedal drive, you will get the best miles per kilowatt under normal driving conditions. See you on the next update. Let me know if you have any more questions, any of, anything else about the Ford Lightning that you wanna know from, uh, like we're gonna talk about charging, we're gonna talk about everything else that you need to know about the Ford Lightning, because I want you to get one too.